Hello, welcome back. In today's video, let us solve practice question paper. Fill in the blanks. The numbers 14, 21, 28 and 35 are some multiples of? Yes, all these numbers are multiples of 7. The place value of 9 in 1,49,372 is? What is the place value of 9? Yes, 9,000. Next question. The measure of a straight angle is? The measure, measure of a straight angle is 180 degree. All the numbers which are not multiples of 2 are called odd numbers. Odd numbers. Next. The product of 2 negative integers is always a positive integer. Right? Next. A factor of every number is 1. 1 is a factor of every number. Answer the following. Find the product using suitable property. Here we need to multiply 499 into 75. So we can use here distributive property to multiply these numbers. Yes, here we have to multiply 499 into 75. So 75 we are multiplying 499 times. Yes. So, instead of multiplying 499 times, we can multiply 75 500 times. Means one time extra we are multiplying. So, what we have to do? We have to take away two zeros out and 5. 5 times is 25. 5 here to carry. 2. 7 times is 35. 35 plus 2 is 37. So, we got the answer as 37,500. From this, we will have to take away 75. That one time extra which we had multiplied. Yes. That we have to take away. So, if we take away 75 from 37,500, it will be 9, 10 and 4, right? Four, 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 7, 2, 4 minus nothing, 4 itself, 7 and 3. 37,425 is the product. Prime factor is 150. So, we will divide 150 by 2, the smallest prime number. 2, 75 times is 150, right? So, as 75 is not divisible by 2, we will have to move to the next tables, that is 3. So, 3, 20, 5 times is 75, right? 3, 25 times is 75. And again, 25 is not divisible by 3 also now. So, 25 is divisible by 5. 5, 5 times is 25. So, the prime factors are 2 into 3 into 5 into 5. Next question, a machine produces 2520 pence in a day. How many pence will it produce in the month of May? So here to calculate the number of pence, number of pence a machine will produce in the month of May, we need to know how many days are there in the month of May. Yes, May will usually have 31 days, right? There will be 31 days in the month of May. So as that, Machine produces 2520 pence in a day. We can calculate the total number of pence it will produce in May by multiplying the daily production by the number of days in May. So, the daily production is 2520 and number of days in May are 31. So, if we multiply 2520 into 31 will be able to find out how many pens will be produced in the month of May. So, 2520 into 31. Yes, 1, 2520 into 1 will be 2520 and 3 0 times is 0, 3 2 times 6, 3 5 times 15, 1 carry, 3 2 times is 6 plus 1, 7. So, here we will have to add 
both the numbers so 0 2 11 1 carry 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 1 8 and 7 as it is so the machine will produce 78120 pence in the month of may next question three lighthouses flash their lights after every 20 seconds 24 seconds and 36 seconds if they flash together at 7 pm when will they flash together next to find out when will the three lighthouses will flash together next we need to find out their lcm of the flash intervals which are 20 seconds 24 seconds and 36 seconds so here 20 24 and 36 so all three numbers are divisible by 2 let us divide it by 2 2 10 times is 20 2 12 times is 24 2 18 times is 36 so here Next, all the three numbers are also divisible by 2. 2, 5 times 10, 2, 6 times 12 and 2, 9 times 12. Here 5, 5 is prime number so it is not divisible by any other number but 6 and 9 are divisible by 3. So 3, 5 as it is, 3, 2 times is 6 and 3, 3 times is 9. Now 5 and 3 are prime numbers. But 2 is divisible by 2 itself. So let us remain it as it is. Now we have to multiply 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 2 into 3. 2 2 times 4 4 3 times 12 12 5 times is 60 60 2 times is 120 120 3 times is 360. So the lighthouses will flash together every 360 seconds. To find out the time of the next flash together, we have to convert 360 seconds to minutes. So 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute, right? So we'll divide 360 by 60. 60 6 times is 360. So, we got 6 as answer here. Now, we'll have to add 6 minutes to 7 p.m. Yes, 7 p.m. plus 6 minutes will be 7 hours and 6 minutes. 6 minutes. So, the Three lighthouses will flash together next at 7 6 pm. 7 6 pm. Write the given number in words in Indian system. First, we have to separate the numbers according to their place values. Yes, after three digits, one comma, and after two digits, one comma, and after two digits, one more comma. So here, We'll write their place values 1s, 10s, 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh and crore. So here it's easier when we write, when we separate the place values according to their places. And then we got to know here it's 3 crore, 3 crore, 22 lakh, 87,008. In words we'll write as T-H-R-E-E-3. C R O R E crore T W E N T Y twenty T W O two twenty two what lakh L A K H lakh and eighty seven E I G H T Y eighty S E V E N seven thousand T H O U S A N D thousand and eight. Next question is 21,510 is divisible by 5 and 9. Is it divisible by 45 is the question. First let us find out whether the given number is divisible by 5 or not. As it's ending with 
0 it is divisible by 5 right if it is ending with 5 or 0 that means the whole number is divisible by 5 next to check whether the given number is divisible by 9 or not we'll have to add the given digits so 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 5 is 8 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 0 is 9 itself so the sum of the given digits is 9 9 is divisible by 9 yes 9 is also multiple of 9 itself so the given number is also multiple of 9 so the given number is divisible by 9 so as we know if the given number is divisible by both 5 and 9 means it will also be divisible by their product which is 5 into 9 right so 5 into 9 is nothing but 5 into 9 is 45 45 is the product of 5 and 9 so if the number is divisible by 5 and 9 the number will also be divisible by 45 so here we can say 21510 is divisible by both 5 and 9 as it is divisible by 49 also Next, name the given line segments in the circle. The line segment OP. OP is, yes, radius. R A D I U S. And Q R is, yes, passing through the center is diameter. X Y, yes, line segment connecting. Two points on the circle is chord and point O is the center of the circle. So students I hope the video was useful. Thanks for watching.